Um, hello everyone, it's Bella from talktobella.com. <sighs> um, my heart is heavy. I, I witnessed, uh, I've seen that and I have heard about that. I lost my own father at a very young age, but there's nothing as painful as losing someone with a very bright future ahead of him. I was in Zanfara State, um, as you all know, I told you I was going for the orientation camp about um, three weeks ago. And I know you all must be wondering um, why I'm home, while uh, my um, fellow cop members are still there, but I had to come back, I was very sick, I couldn't walk, I was almost paralyzed. Um, the cold did that to me, but I'm not here to talk about me. I'm here to talk about Mr. Azokwa Okema who died in um, Kampi in um, the OM NYC orientation camp in um, Zamfara State. Um, I, <laughs> I don't even know where to start because one minute he was alive and um, healthy and the next minute he was just gone. And I was asking myself if his death could have been avoided. Um, I will be pasting pictures of what the camp looks like in the South Africa State. That's can be. It had to be done in a hurry. I don't. I'm not blaming anyone. The NYC officials there, they 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 had to work um, what they were given with. They had to improvise. They had to make provisions for us because all of us couldn't. Um, size camp A, that's the main orientation camp, the permanent site. So we all were shipped down to um, camp B, that's a uh, government secondary school. And um, I would not say it is the most conducive and convenient, but we were not there to be comfortable, we were just there to do our bit and um, get it over with. But what is the NYC scheme all about? I have asked myself a thousand times. How many more people have to die for the government to know they have to make proper provisions for us? We are people's children. We go to places we've never been before. And, 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 and we fall sick. I, 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 I don't even know how to say this. Okay, when camp one day and um, started hearing rumors, it started from Kano. I, I had a friend that was posted from Kano and she said somebody died in that camp. And we went for our normal morning parade and uh, we prayed. We said, ah, God, please take away this period of death from this camp. And we didn't know we were going to lose one of ours very soon. So the rumors began. Ah, uh, somebody had to be taken to the general hospital in Guso, in Zafra State, that's their capital. A court member died. You know, you know how rumors start, and you know, before you knew it, we're like, ah, no, we the spirit of death, it's not happening in our camp. And it just was too late because the next day uh, we had um, news from the state coordinator that a very part, <sighs> someone was gone. And um, what happened, according to what he told us, he said, um, he was feeling a weakness all over his body. Weakness all over his body. And um, he was taken to the camp clinic and um, he was just getting weak. And when they could not do anything, they had to take him to Goso, the hospital in Goso. And there he, he started um, defecating all over his body till he gave up. What do I call that? Do I say he died of diarrhea? Did I say he died of dysentery? Why would you place our lives in the hands of fellow court doctors? Why don't you provide medical equipment for emergencies? How do you expect a very sick person, you know, to be... I, 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 don't, I have so many things to say. I have a lot. But where do I start from? Where? His family, they, 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 they didn't have the money to even bring back their son's body home. And I said, how to take care of that? How do you explain to a mother who struggled 
to send her son to school and I heard this guy was a first class graduate. I'm even using words. He's no more alive. I, 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 how do you... I don't know. Okay, do I even want to talk about the lady who lost her seven months old pregnancy there in camp? Are you going to ask me why she wasn't redeployed? Why did she... I don't even want to say. I don't want to say. Well, things need to be done. I saw, I saw, I saw so much blood. I, I, I saw so much blood in my... I saw so much lumps of blood. This woman was bleeding. While I was, you know, limping to the clinic because of my leg, um, this woman was being taken to the general hospital. I don't know if it's the general hospital, but she was taken, being taken into town for proper treatment. What if there were good available medical equipment in camp? Would that woman's child have survived? Would she be, would she have, I, 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 would she? It's, it's obvious, um, nothing has changed about the NYC scheme except the salary. We're still following a brochure that started, we're still following this 1973 brochure that started there. Nothing has been changed, you know. The food hasn't changed. The, the, it's it's like a real run. It's like a real run. Nothing has changed. But that is not what we want. We want provisions to be made for people who genuinely can't cope in environments they are not used to. You don't take a freshwater fish and put it in an ocean and expect it to survive. Though it might adapt after a while, but not all of them will adapt. I don't know how many deaths I ha has to occur. I don't know how, how many almost near death experiences have to occur. I don't know how many miscarriages have to occur for the government to know that something, something really needs to be done. It is not for me to say how this scheme will work. We all have to serve our fatherland. We're all very patriotic in Nigerians. But I myself, I couldn't bear the cold. I could not walk. And, and, and when they were nothing, they, 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 they didn't even know what was wrong with me. The physiotherapist had to recommend that I come back home. I've been home for like, um, since on Friday. And I, I, I can walk now. The cold froze my moles. I could not do anything. I could not walk. It's obvious most of us can't so You just put on, you ask us to choose states. And when we choose states, most times you don't even take us there. This young man died and I don't want to say for nothing. He 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 was someone I did not know. He was not in my platoon. But he was in my batch. He was in the same camp for me. I am sure I, I would have passed him countless times and not know who he was until he died and I got to see a picture and um and when I heard his parents could not even afford to bring his body home, <sighs> something inside of me broke. It broke. It broke so bad. And um, I wish the government would really, really do something to improve the lives of people going for the NYC scheme. We are tired of the bad news in this country. We need something positive. We need something really, really soul uplifting. Another stream is going to. You know, go for this NYC orientation in January. Please make it a little bit better for them. Make it a little bit easier for them. Make it a little bit enjoyable. You wake us up at 3 a.m. with our, our shorts, our knickers, and uh, our khaki shirt, and you take us out into the cold. I, do, I know how many times I have. Abuni Kebam was my best friend. Every morning I wake up and my ribs are joined together. My stomach is bloated, cold. I have to start massaging myself with rub. Most of us are not used to that kind of weather. This thing needs to, this thing needs to sit down and really, 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 really restructure and rebrand the skin. It's, I don't want to say it's outlive this usefulness because I know a lot of people really, my mom really wanted me to go for NYC. She wanted me to wear that khaki. She wanted me to serve my country. But what if I had come back dead to her? I remember when I called her and told her I couldn't walk. The way she screamed, I, I, it, I can still hear it in my head. I'm her only daughter and 
what would have happened to her if I came back paralyzed? So this, 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 uh, I, I made a lot of friends there. I made a lot of friends at the Suwa, Makai, Kitty, Jamila, Obio. I made a lot of friends and families that I cannot forget. And I know that this is what the scheme is all about. But please try to make our lives matter. That's all I ask for. Uh, so a lady died in Kano. She, she gone too soon. Are we not tired? As Uko Keme died, and we, I don't even know to say if this is how he died or, or, or what happened. When you take him to the camp clinic and people don't know what's wrong with him. You, how many days did you have to leave him there for you to know that something really, really, really is wrong with him before it had to be an emergency case. And when it became an emergency case, there were no on-ground personnel to take care of him. You, you, you put to them doctors in charge. These are green horns. You, you have to put a professional body there for them to be under. You don't bring up people that learn from the book to come and take care of us. They need more experience like we do. And that's what the scheme is about. You don't put, you, 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 you go to this clinic and they be like, okay, go to the pharmacy. And when you go to the pharmacy, they don't even have those drugs. They be like, oh, go to mommy and get it. <sighs> Bella, calm down. I, I, I don't want to say rest in peace anymore. I I, uh, I cried. I, I, I cried. I'm very emotional. I cried and I don't want to say rest in peace. They had a lot of dreams. I just hope the government would compensate their families. Yes, the government should compensate their families. They really, really deserve it. And um, just make the NYC scheme safe. That's the word I should have used from the beginning. Make it safe for us. So when we try to register online, when our relatives try to register online, when our children want to register online, our minds will be at rest. We would encourage them to go for it. We will not be scared there will be a crisis somewhere. We will not be scared one thing will happen. We will not be scared another thing will happen. Our minds will be at rest. This is federal government have to do something about this, and um, I will have to stop there from now because I really don't want to say more. I'm still a seven court member, and I do not want to implicate myself, but I have to stop. This is to Bella from DrBella.com, and I hope I don't have to give any more seven messages like this ever again. Thank you so much. God bless you.